Times of Israel removes article calling for Palestine to be obliterated. This is disgusting. These uh, Zionists are the real white supremacists. White supremacists. And um, I want to shout out True News because True News been um, reporting on this this stuff for for years about what um, Israel is doing to the Palestinians, and it's disgusting. And 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 no one here, any in, in especially in our um, government, is talking about the atrocities that's going on over there and what they're doing to those those people. is 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 disgusting. It's sick. It's racist. And no one is really speaking out about it. That's the real white supremacy that's going on. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link chain in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. I'm going to talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store where I have I Will Not Comply uh, t-shirts as well. Also, check out JJThePsychotherapist.com for news as well. All right, let's talk about this news. The Times of Israel removed an article which called for Palestine to be obliterated this week after the peace received backlash on social media, and rightfully so. I mean, I mean, these people are the real racists. They are so racist. I'm not talking about all Jewish people. I'm just talking about the people that's pushing this Zionist agenda, because there's also some um, Christians that's pushing this this Zionist agenda. Even, and even though they know what's going on to the Palestinians and some Palestinians or Christians that this stuff is happening to, they're getting beat up and dragged out of their homes. Kids are getting shot and, and things like that. And no one even is even talking about these atrocities. It's disgusting. It's, it's racism. And, and, and that, I mean, it's plain and simple. They think they are superior to, to the um, Palestinians, but it is ridiculous. But, um, the article titled Moving Forward on Palestine by Jeffrey Cameras was published on the Times of Israel blog on Thursday and soon received a wave of criticism. Quote, in order to right a wrong, in order to make peace and move forward, Palestine must be obliterated, Cameras wrote in the piece. It is an affront to society, morality, humanity. It represents lies and anti-Semitism, oppression and terror. Nothing more. I mean, <laughs> look what they're doing to these people. They have absolutely no rights. They're basically sec second, um, second class citizens in their own country. It's ridiculous what's, what, what's going on to the Palestinians. I mean, and, and like I said, it's a, a lot of these Palestinians are Christians. They're Muslims as well, but no one deserves to be treated like this. It's horrible. I mean, like every Friday, it seems like they kill a kid. They be again dragging people out of their home. I seen one video where they beat the crap out this guy. Um, the military beat the crap out this guy, and they filmed it. And 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 because another because a protester had pointed and said, "Hey, him over there," and they went and beat the crap out the guy. And it, I mean, it was disgusting. The things they do to these people is is morally wrong, and more people need to speak out against this. But people, our politicians aren't going to speak out against this because of the lobby that you push. And I mean, even DeSantis went over. The, over to to Israel to sign a um to sign a uh a, a piece of legislation for Florida about boycotting Israel where you is an anti basically a uh, boycott bill so basically the free free speech is out the window he talks about censorship and all this stuff DeSantis does but then he goes over to Israel to sign a bill where people can't use their First Amendment rights against a a, a country another country it's disgusting but quote. No one cares about the Palestinians, he continued, arguing that care for the well-being of Palestinians, Palestinians, quote, solely exists in the form of anti-Israel advocacy, not pro-Palestinian support. Well, that's not true. I support everyone's freedom. I'm pro-Palestine. I don't think they need to be beat up or killed. That doesn't make me anti-Israel. But the article went on to argue that Palestinians needed, quote, to be re-educated and that Israel should be, quote, not weak with this, quote, enemies before concluding, quote, citizens of Israel and am Israel. Stop being afraid. Stop waiting for approval from America and the West. Know yourself and walk with Hashim. After the article received heavy criticism on social media, as well as the Times of Israel's comment section, it was removed by the newspaper with the link currently displaying a 404 error, error page, a preserved form of the article can still be read um, through online archive websites. You can still see it. 
I mean, it, it, it's disgusting, but I'm glad that people actually, some people actually stood up against this blatant racism that's going on. But articles on the Times of Israel blog are published with the disclaimer that content is, quote, contributed by third parties and that the opinions, facts, and any media content in them are present and solely by the authors. But who approved the po <laughs> approved this article in the first place? They said, quote, neither the Times of Israel nor its partner assume any responsibility for them, the disclaimer states. Please contact us in case of abuse. The Times of Israel has previously received backlash over articles published in, blog, in its blog section, which appeared to have little editorial oversight. In 2014, a newspaper published a blog post titled, quote, when genocide is permissible, which questioned, quote, what other way then is there to uh, deal with an enemy of this nature other than obliterate them completely? Following backlash, the article was removed and its author issued an apology. A year later, in 2015, the Times of Israel found itself embroiled in yet another controversy as, after it published a blog post calling Palestinians, quote, worthless subhuman beasts and vermin who are, quote, not even human beings and thus have no right uh, to live at all. <laughs> this, is, so this is exactly how they feel. They don't even believe they're actually human beings. And we give this we give this country billions of dollars and military protection and military arms and things like that. And these people are white supremacists. That's exactly what they are. But again, following backlash, the article was removed and newspaper blamed, quote, malicious hoaxer for writing the hateful and racist post. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. It was not a hoaxer because they have it, 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 it when it when it's when it's become when it's happening time and time again. It's not just hoaxers doing this. This is what they actually believe. That's why they allow these racist blogs to go on their website. It's disgusting. Um, um, uh, more people need to stand up against them and we need to stop funding this racist country. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share and subscribe and check out JJ, the for the latest in news. Until next time. Peace.